So we're going to have to restore at grass is getting greener because that's the last place we were at before we left. Um, so this is the one we're going to have to restore to. And this game doesn't have a whole lot of sound to it, so... Uh, Wahoo! I just wanted to make sure my sound was working, so I did a woohoo. So we're we're back at the campsite. Um, all right. So last time, I think we went back and got the Bible, and then came back here. And I, we don't have the Bible now, so I think we're we're probably good now. Let's find out. So here we go. Here we go. We're gonna suppress them. We're gonna suppress the messages. Unless unless you all want to see the messages, then we're gonna just suppress them. Because we watch all. If you want, if you if you want to see this journey, you can always watch the VOD from yesterday when we when we when we did this. Um, so basically, this reminds me a lot of like Oregon Trail. Um, just just the uh, way it's going, which, I mean, I guess it is in a way where a coach, there's an oxen going across the United States, and, and we're, instead of going to Oregon, we're going to California. One thing they didn't seem to get historically accurate is um, or I'm not sure I don't I don't I don't know when I I don't know when the um, when states got I don't know when the, the states got uh, made states I guess felt like it wasn't quite right. How fast are we going? Let's, let's turn the speed up to fast as well. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Eventually we're going to stop by a, uh, a thing and we need to untie the, uh, the uh, animals. So we have to throw stuff away. We get to keep. We get to keep the stuff. This time we don't have a Bible, so it doesn't mention it. Um, if we need the Bible, then that that's not good. Because I don't think we can get it. I don't think we can actually get it in time. I think if we go get it and come back, it'll be the wrong time to leave. Okay, here we go. The captain bellows a command, and the animal team comes to a halt. You are at the top of the steep hill overlooking the Green River. So we need to untie the animals. That is a brilliant idea. As thirsty as those animals are, they would have pulled the wagon along with everyone inside over the edge of the steep hill. You are responsible for saving the animal team, the wagon, and the lives of your fellow company members. You are to be commended. I like how I'm in charge. Like, like there's we have a captain, but the captain kind of like for whatever reason says we'll just everybody can die unless you do something right there now the now the animals are shrinking and then they're coming back you know i feel like it would have been better if we would have maybe just slid the uh slid the coaches down while they were taking a drink but maybe not um 
Now we're attempting to attempt the steep hill. So use chain on wheel. Um, oh gosh, how did we do this one? I don't remember how to do this one. Um, tie chain to wheel. There we go. Using your Yankee ingenuity, you put the chains to the wagon wheels to keep the wheels from turning. So we lock the wheels so that the wheels won't turn and won't, I guess, run over the oxen. And we forgot to start the timer, I just realized. And kill, kill everybody. So we did that. And there we go, we're going down the steep hill with our locked wheel um, coach. Congratulations, we did it, we did it, go us. All right, and then we're gonna get thirsty and we're gonna drink the wagon. That's what we did last time, we drank the wagon and it worked. So we're gonna drink the wagon again. We also ate some questionable meat. I don't I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I find the thirsty one amusing because like I don't know if we were dumb or if we were just or what, but for whatever reason Well, we're thirsty. The whole rest of the uh, team seems to be fine. So it's like, you can't have any water because you suck. We all get water, but you don't get water. I don't know. I guess you'll find out when we get there. It's, I think on the next screen. We get to what looks like a desert. We're getting close. We're getting close. So Nevada. Makes sense it would have a desert, I guess. And here we go. And we died on this screen, too. His winter hit, I think, in the mountains, and we died. You are suffering from severe thirst and starvation. I guess we should eat the meat. We're suffering from starvation as well. Life as you know it is nearly over. Unless you do something quick. Like, this is, this is the questionable part. Like, why am I, why is the rest of the team not suffering from this? Why am I suffering from this? Did they eat all the food and drink all the water? And, like, just decide, um, screw that guy. He he not he saved our lives, but who cares? Who cares about him? We'll just let him, we'll just, he can't ride the wagon or anything. So, look, look in wagon. Uh, take, eat meat. We're gonna eat the meat. It gives us points, so that's probably good. You still need something to drink or you will surely die. So we're going to drink the wagon. Which works. They drink all the water that remains in the water barrel. That was, that was a, some delicious wagon. Some good wagon. We're on our way again. Now here's where we died last time. So we're going to unsuppress the messages because I think we haven't gotten to this point. This is where, oh, we already got to this point. It wasn't fa it, This wasn't far from where the Donner Party encountered an early winter storm. Just the thought of it sends chills up and down your spine. Are we dying? Uh-oh. Crap. Did we die again? We died again. 
Well, well, well. Dang. All right, well, in that case, I guess we're gonna restore this one and no i don't think so i think i think i i think i did a decent job of uh of saving here let's see if we can get the book let's see if we can get the book He's going to give us a Bible. We get points for it. Okay, the grant. Look. The mud is beginning to dry. We need to go now. We need to go now. Go now. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, I feel bad. I feel like we're too late again. Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna reload. Restore. We're gonna reload again. Oh wait, I just realized the guy is right literally right here. Um it just loops. Okay, so if if this is good, if we're in a good state, then we just want to go. Yeah, I think we want to go now. So I think I think this is when we want to go. We'll find out. Go, 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 go. All right, we're gonna move it. We're gonna go in fastest mode. Let's just, let's just go. Speed this game up. I, I mean, I think this, I think the way they did this is pretty cool. Exploring the the line between roguelike and adventure game, yeah. Um, I don't know what the Bible's for. I don't. Maybe maybe I'll get. Maybe somebody will shoot at me, and the Bible will save me, or something like that. I don't know. Ah. Normal speed. Did it. Did it. Let's save again. Thirsty animals. Save. Okay. We'll go fast, faster speed. There go the animals down the cliff again. Drink some water. And we want to um we want to do that. Here goes the wagons. And then we're gonna we're gonna get where we get to drink the wagon again. Good for us. Speed, go faster. Woo! Look at those oxen go. 
They're like they're like they're like booking. They're booking. They're booking good. All right, we're about to get to the thirsty part. We better we better slow it down. Let's go to go to fast speed. Okay. Let's go get wagon. Eat meat. Drink wagon. Here we go. Is this fat? This is, oh no, we're, I thought we were on fast. Okay, now we're on fast again. We're gonna, we're gonna just play messages again. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we did it. We did it. We made it past Yahoo! that part. All right. Whoa. Okay. So we were able to get past that part. So now we're actually at new unexplored territory where we've never been before. Now you are over the summit of the Sierra Nevada mountain range, and you are beginning your descent into the Sacramento Valley. Just knowing you are getting close Gives you a little more energy. Energy. All right. Once you reach the Sacramento Valley, you get word from travelers who took Layson's cutoff that the terrain was formidable. Perhaps Captain Buddy did make a wise choice. You also learn that the U.S. Army, in an attempt to prevent another catastrophe, which would dwarf that of the Donner Party, has sent rescue teams to help those men, women, and children still on the trails in the Sierras. Which I think is funny because we died, and now they're telling us, oh, by the way, this happened. I mean, they could have just said, you got sent back. You have no money. You have 85 out of a possible 95 points. Don't give up. We had, we had I think, 60 out of a possible 70 or 50 out of a possible 60. So we got all the possible points we could get during that phase of the game. So uh, I think with that, we're going to have another taco party to celebrate getting through that phase. It's raining tacos. Hopefully we're not dead. Sunter's Fort. We're there. We made it. We went to. We got to Sutter's Fort. Is that us? No, that's not us. Oh wait, we're right there. I just realized we're actually we're actually on the screen. I hope we're not dead. Let's look. Through the south gate, you see the gate to the fort's main corral. The lazy guard takes one look at you and says, You look as green as grass, stranger. I imagine you just pulled into the fort. Let me give you some pointers. You're welcome to take a tour of the fort. But there will only be... But there only be a few folks hanging around here most folks have gone to the hills to take look for gold they hurried off and left their belongings unintended but you ain't gonna find nothing useful seems like the only things of any use these days is a gold pan a shovel a lantern and a trusty mule oh no i didn't get that lantern that would be that would be bad if i actually needed that Oh no, I don't think I got the lantern. In fact, I didn't get the lantern. I'm, 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 I'm fairly certain I didn't. That's not good. 
That is not good. He's just telling us now that we need a lantern. So, okay then. Okay, okay. That doesn't sound good. That does not sound good to me. All right, let's see what we can do here. I don't have a mule either, but hey, Sense CC, how's it going? I hope everybody had is having a great Friday. Let's go in here. What's in here? Look, this is just empty room. The guards watch the gate from here when it's raining. Okay. Go inside. No, I didn't want to go out. Okay, okay, I see. Great Friday, awesome. Oh, here's a place. What's this place? This is a place. Nothing here. Let's look. It's a room where supplies such as gunpowder, shot, and wine are stored. Oh come on! I don't need any. Uh, I don't need any uh, gunpowder. I disagree. What's up here? This is the administration headquarters of Sun Sunter's Fort. There must be. Things must be running smoothly because the office has been left unattended. You don't need anything here. Is this all for, like, just decoration? Like. All right. What's over here? There's another, another, lots of, lots of just stuff to, oh, what's this? This looks interesting. This is the shoe shop. Boots on your feet are all you need. You don't need anything here. All right, fine. Is that because we were well prepared, or do we just not need anything? What's this? Look. Uh, this is the kitchen. Nothing is on the stove. You don't need anything here. Okay, fine. This is the first for... This is the most fermented place in the fort. This is the brewery. You don't need anything here. Okay. Who's this guy? I'm the man that watches over all these fine mules, says the man. Okay. Cool. Good job. Every room tells me to go away. Yeah, that's okay. Look. Everything made everything made here in the wood shop is made with lumber from Sunter's own sawmill in Coloma. You don't need anything here. I don't I don't need anything. Jeez, look at all these rooms. It's an empty entrance way. I don't need anything here. Oh, what's this? This is the hat and boot shop for the fort. You've got a hat and you've got boots. You don't need anything here. What's this? This looks like beds. This is the bunk room for the hired hands. They've got they've gone and taken everything with them. You don't need anything here. Another one. You don't need anything here. Well, where is there something I need anywhere? Oh, here we go. Here's some guy. This looks good. He's making noise, so that must mean I need something there. The gunsmith shop is an exciting but unnecessary stop on your tour of the fort. You don't need anything here. I like how he yells at me. You don't need anything here. Okay. Oh, whew. Is it steaming in here? There's a fire roaring, some metals glowing, and a blacksmith sweating. 
Leaning against the wall is a branding iron. You notice it didn't say you don't need anything here. So I think I need something here. Hang on there, fella. I'll be right with you. Can't you see, man, that I'm as busy as a one-armed paper hanger with an itch? Okay. If you'd excuse me, I'll best be get back to work. Hold on there, son. You ain't from around these parts, say. Say, New York, would you be? Yay. You wouldn't be from Brooklyn, would ya? Yay. Your last name ain't by chance, uh, uh, darn it, uh, uh, in her last name. What's my last name? <laughs> what is my last name? I forget what my last name is. Many more Reagan and Jensen. It is not that. Durneth? Durneth? It's Durneth. It's not Durneth. I forget what my name is. Um, it's in, it's, I know it's in the uh, description of the, the game. It's a oh, Wilson. Jared, Jared Wilson. Uh, Wilson. Yeah, that's it. But uh, your first name wouldn't be uh, 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 Shoot. Well, that one I know. Jared. That's it. And uh, you got a brother named uh, uh, Jake. No, it's Jake. Jake, well, I'll be. I can't believe it. Lean over here, uh, uh, young fella, and listen to me close. Shoot, uh, darn it. <laughs> I can't be talking too loud, but about this kind of thing. I got a message for you from your brother. I ain't got no notion of his whereabouts. All I got is a message. I haven't done that yet, Finkelroy. No. He wants you to know what? He wants you to know that in these parts, he's known as, uh, uh, he's known as, a uh, uh, James. That's it. James. He won't tell nobody of his whereabouts, but he gave this, he gave me this to give to you. Ain't got no idea what it's fur, but he wanted me to give it to you. The suit covered blacksmith hands you a branding iron. Now you know you're on the right trail to find your brother. He must be on to something big. Really big. Okay, save. We got big, really big. All right. Just outside the blacksmith shop is a wagon wheel. What did I get anyway? A branding iron? What is it? Uh, Branding irons are a fairly common article around here, but this is a rare brand indeed. Looks like a horseshoe and a key. Okay. A key. What would I use a key for? What's in here? This is a forced candle shop. I don't need anything here. They say they're going to give anyone who subscribes this month a bonus mystery game on May 1st. Well, I will definitely subscribe before May 1st because if I don't, I think it expires on May 1st. So I need to do it by May 1st. I, 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 who knows? If, I guess it's technically a subscription since uh, I said just, just a, it's mainly a discount coupon. All right. So what do I do now? So we're going to we're going to save again as where to go where where to now i think i think i think I, I need to catch another wagon is my guess i find it interesting that uh
Wait, where are we? What, what, what the heck? Like on an overhead view. Can we come over here? Well, this is weird. This, this is really weird. What's over here? Look. Can we look? You're outside of Sunter's Fort on the edge of the wilderness. The road in front of the fort leads east through the wilderness to the town of Coloma. Okay. Let's go to the town of Coloma. There, now we're in the town. No, I'm not. Oh, wait, it said east. This, this is west. What are we supposed to what are we supposed to do? Confused as to what our our goal here is. Okay, there's 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 the fort. So what are we supposed to do here? Um Is there anything else in here? We went that way, we went that way to be to be good. We didn't go this way, did we? I don't recall going this way, so let's go this way. Let's turn up the speed. Look. It's the Cooper's workshop. Cast barrels and other items. You don't need anything here. What's this? This is a fork granary. Seems logical folks would store the grain here. You don't need anything here. Okay. I don't remember, Finkleroy. I thought it was actually for the highest tier. Um, oh, here's a graveyard. I thought it was for the highest here, but I'm not sure. It's definitely I I re, I seem to recall it being more than a coupon for five dollars. So I thought it was a coupon for nineteen ninety nine. Reed grave, not reed grave. Died in infancy. Okay. Elizabeth Marie Elizabeth Hanford, an infant daughter, died in eighteen forty eight. God knows why. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a forty four, no less, no more. That's nice. That's good. That's that's good. Good, good, good. Good call. Here lies a man whose crown was won by blowing in an empty gun. William Abel. Died age twenty four. <clears throat> Kata M. Brosinski departed this life on May 19. Okay. What are we doing here? Are we trying to find somebody? So I, I, I think that that letter was supposed to be used. <clears throat> here lies a man. Oh, we already did that one. Okay. Psalm 23. Wilson Marshall died January 24th, 1848. Warned by sons James and Jared. A place in our hearts is reserved for you always. Well, that's weird. 
I find that weird that that's there. <clears throat> You must be a genius. You take the letter from your long-lost brother out of your pocket and hold it up to the tombstone. Okay, this is what I thought we need to do, needed to do with the tombstone earlier, but we didn't. We needed to do it here, apparently. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Where do we put it? says O R O two one M. What does that mean? O R O R O O M two one. Okay. Reserved for you always. Also, it's probably a room number. Room 21? Room 21, maybe? Okay, cool. We also... We have... Um, okay. Oh, through the hole. Oh, it's, it's going to give us that. Okay, through the holes in the letters, you see these characters R two one O O M. Cool. Okay. See if this if, let's see if the thing at the top matters. Um, there it is. Okay, this is weird. It's specifically so it flips to 23, and we also see there's some words in capital letters, which I don't know why that would be there, but okay. Okay, I think we got points for that, though, so yay. All right, save again as um, found grave. Okay, let's let's go out of here. What do we need to do? We're gonna we're, have we gone into all these rooms and looked? So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna look every single room and see if there's anything we need the lumber room okay nothing this this looks interesting there's stuff outside look this is a cabinet shop cabinets of every size are made here but I don't need anything I don't need a cabinet it's an entryway to the weaving room I don't need anything there either what's in here it's a bakery don't need anything there either. 
Can I go? Can I go diagonal? I can. I can go diagonal. Wait, what's this? This is uh, this is different. What's this? Look, this is the trading store. It didn't say we don't need anything. Okay, cool. Clark grins and says, I can tell by the way you talk. You're new to these parts. What can I do you for? Ask about, ask for goods. What's for sale? What is for sale? Look. This is the trading store at Sunter's Fort. The shelves are getting bare, but there's still some good stuff here, like gold pans, shovels, lanterns. There's also a clerk here. Okay. So we have... Wait. Oh, yeah, we lost all of our stuff, didn't we? Everything we bought before we left is gone because it got thrown out of the wagon. The shovel, the pickaxe, the... So it doesn't, it didn't matter what we bought. It didn't matter what we bought in town. We were gonna lose it. So how, buy lantern? Clark explains, I'm not in this business for my health, and lanterns are getting scarce. You're going to have to give me some gold in one form or another if you want to take anything out of this store. Um, okay. Uh, give coin. Or give flake. The clerk chuckles and says, I see you're fresh on the frontier. A gold flake like that will get you nothing. Perhaps you can have something else. So that's the gold coin. Oh my goodness. He's like, this is like, this is the worst. So should I get a gold pan or should I get a lantern or should I get a shovel? I mean, we have, we have all of those options. We have gold pans, shovels, lanterns. Those are the three things we can get. What do we want? Well, I think, I don't know. I think we might need, I think the gold pan might be the best investment right now. Um, it, might, it, might, it might allow us to get more money. So I think we might need more money. So I think the gold pan might be the way to go. I mean, I think we're going to need the shovel and the lantern as well, but I think the gold pan is the thing that gets us the immediate, could potentially get us the immediate gain based on the fact that we can go on the map and maybe we can go into the river and use it now. The shovel won't be any use for us now and the lantern won't be any use for us now. So let's give the coin. Oh no! Give us a lantern. I don't. We don't want the lantern. Oh, poop. <laughs> We're gonna restore this. Okay. It's not what I wanted. I didn't want the lantern. I think I want the gold pan. They still had. They had, still had the the idea in mind that I wanted that thing. So we got the lantern. I don't think I actually want the lantern. The only thing I think in the list that actually gets me gold is the gold pan. So we're we're going to I think we're going to get try that first uh, because we don't have any more money. I think that would have been a dead end. That would be here, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to add it. Oh, yeah, I did it. I I see what you're saying. You for I I I see what you were telling me, Toll Panzer. I just forgot that I need to add deaths, don't I? Um, uh, let me get let me get in here and add 
I think I need to add a death to my list. We died in we died one more time of the uh of the uh of the winter. I'm gonna add that death. That was definitely a death. Okay, buy uh, gold pan. Give gold, give coin. Okay, regardless, we get a point. We get a point no matter what we buy. So, um, I don't know. So I think maybe we go to the river and we'll um we'll uh we're gonna try to to see what we did. Oh uh speed fast we're gonna go on fast speed so we're gonna to have to find the goal here is to find gold so we're gonna go into the river or stream or whatever it is and look for gold so we're gonna save again as gold pan okay let's go this way we're gonna leave the fort, and we're gonna go over here. What if, what if we like go down here? Well, there is another screen. Miles from Sumter Fort E zero two. Okay, what does that mean exactly? I don't understand. Okay. So we're just we're just like on a screen and we're 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 now uh how far can we go down? This is interesting. This is interesting. That did, did I did I get all the times I died in there? I'm just seeing if it's going to give you a message, like, or if we're going to die. No, no, we haven't died yet. We haven't died yet. Or if we find anything, like gold or whatever. Let's see something shiny on the side of the, the bank or... Nothing. Let's look at let's look at the river. Look at water. Uh, this is the Sacramento River. No miners claim ever panned out in this river. No miners claim ever panned out in this river. Okay. We can we can walk into it. Interesting. Use the pan, I guess. Nothing. Let's keep doing it. Nothing. 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 
Maybe maybe this maybe we're not in a good place. They said they said it never worked out here, so nothing. 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 We're gonna get nothing a lot apparently. We're gonna find nothing. Nothing. You can't pan unless you're in the water. Nothing. Nothing. Maybe we need to go to there was another there was another part. There was another waterway, wasn't there? There was the uh there was the other one. Let's try the other waterway. Oh no. We're now in let's turn it to fast ist mode. Well we also potentially have the shovel that we could use to dig as well, right? Yeah, there are a lot of games about dying in the gold rush. For sure. What do we do? I don't I don't I feel like maybe we need to go to the other waterway that existed. Like maybe we need to go um you notice there's an east and a south. Maybe we need to go east. Let's try going east. Because there's there's a, there was another there was another um Although I find this one is probably more questionable. Let's look at let's look at look at water. This is the American River. With a little luck, you might find some gold in this river. Oh no, well that's a more positive message than what we were getting before. The other one said nothing has ever panned out in this river. So let's um let's just see if we spot any gold first. Oh, I see somebody. Look look at person. This man is doing his best to find some gold. Well, that's also positive, I'd say. The fact that there's people out here doing it. Okay. All right, let's try. Let's try right here. Use pan. Nothing. No. Nothing. Jumping bullfrogs. Look what I found. Thirty-seven dollars worth of gold. Woohoo! All right. We're 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 doing it. We're making we're making plays. Oh my! Oh my! Ain't that a beauty? Oh, that was a good one. Ninety-eight dollars worth of gold. And and what like five minutes of work for ninety-eight dollars worth of gold? Not too bad. Are we are is this just random chance or nothing? Or can we maybe we can oh Willikers, this is wonderful. Hundred and fifty six dollars worth of gold. Boy, we're 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 getting enough money to buy our house back. Remember when we sold our house for seven hundred and fifty dollars? Shwee! If only these Brooklynites could see me now. Two hundred and seven dollars worth of gold. 
Another one. Wow. Look at this go. $243 worth of gold. Gambling or something? Nope, I'm paying for gold. Panning for gold. Okay. Yeah. It's gold rush. There's just gold flowing in the rivers. Uh, I guess that's the title of the game, yeah. Yeah, it is. Alright, uh, I'm going to bed. Okay. Well, maybe that screen's out of gold. Let's try this screen. Charlie, you took my seat. Go ahead, move you over here. Oh, we got something else. We got more gold. Okay, bye. Anyway. Okay. Oh my, we got more. How much should we, how much, how much should we get? I, I think the goal is to find our brother, Jake. Wow, we just keep we just keep finding gold. Can you imagine if finding gold was really this easy? Like, I mean, this is this is this is, this is just oh, you just go into a river, take a pan, move around, boom, you got three hundred ninety-five dollars worth of gold. And it and it and it and at uh. At um, in in eighteen whatever, that's a lot of money. Let's we better save it. Actually, now I think about it, finding gold, just in case something happens. We're at four hundred and twenty-seven. I like how they play that music every single time. We're at five hundred and thirty-two. Wait, four hundred eight. We didn't find a whole lot of valuable. Oh, there we go. Five seventy-seven. Like, I wonder, is this like, is this like the uh? A gambling game like where we need to do this a certain number of times. Uh oh. Yeah, we. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! We died! Well, there's a death. Did you really get? Could you really get hung for that? I mean, in all seriousness, I mean, seems this is a little bit. Seems a little bit ridiculous. I'm trying the same place. It looks, it looks not good.
Look at us, getting points. Alright, let's save again. Okay. Whoa, I found a place. What's this? Where are we? Oh, the sawmill. I don't think we can go any further. I think this is the end of how far we can go. I think we might need to go to town. Oh, we found more. Oh, I was afraid we might have gotten... We're just, we're just, oh my, yes. we're just, we're just like $898 in gold. Whew. Dang. We're like, we're like a, a th we're almost a thousandaire. Just in gold. A thousand air now. Let's save it again. I don't. I don't know what what we need to get up to. Like, do we need to just keep doing this? This this is, this this has been, I think, our most profitable uh, screen yet. Oh, it looks like we're nobody here. Keep going. Well, this apparently gold pan was the way to go. We're up to $1,302 in gold. $1,529 in gold. How many times can we do this? Can we just, can we just like come, go here and pan for gold like forever and then just win the game? <laughs> oh, you, you now have a billion dollars in gold. I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's going to be a point where... I feel like there's going to be a point where either the points are going to stop or the gold is going to stop. I don't I don't know which one. Oh, 
This has nothing on the shovel. Like, the shovel would have been hard work. This is not hard work at all. All right, finding gold. We're going to save again. Nobody here. If you find too much gold, they hang you. That would, that would be bad. All right, we have 2,000. $76 in gold. Oh, and we're not done yet, apparently. Oh, there's people here. Dude, no, I'm not doing anything, man. Did I get points for that? I did, okay. I just got points for that one. More points. More points. Helping a game out. Oh, this is helping out Harvester. I'm guessing we can trade it for like goods and stuff. Like if we want to buy stuff, we can probably use our gold in place of money. I find it interesting that the that the screens change each time I I I go on them. Well, if I if I leave the screen and I like I leave the screen and I come back to it, it's a different screen. That's interesting. Oh, we're not done yet. We're up to 150 points. Oh, crap. Oh, we died again. All right, we died on accident. Ah! Yeah, that's definitely a doe. So let, let me add that death onto the onto the list. I'm guessing there's a lot more ways we can die in this game, but um That says high we that's the highest we've been so far. We found it twice on this screen. Anything else? 2,698. The other indication might be when we have an even amount of money. We have an even number. We have 150 points. So we have an even number of points. So maybe this is the end of our uh, getting gold? I don't know. I'm guessing it will eventually stop, but I, I I'm kind of surprised they didn't give us a message or something like, "Oh my gosh, you're you're carrying so much gold, you barely move" or something, something like that. Gold's so heavy, it's weighing you down. You're getting tired. But I think we I think we may have accumulated the maximum amount of gold that we can get. Just. Just because I'm not finding any anymore. Die we die of gold poisoning. Yeah, that would be that would be hilarious. But we're not finding any more, so I think we may have exhausted this thing. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep trying. We could probably go to the city too.
Yeah, we, we got we got all the gold. Like it's all gone. Help this guy here. There's not a guy here anymore. Yeah, I think I think this might be it. A hundred and even hundred and fifty points would make some sense. Although I think we were what, ten points short of the maximum? So we're actually at we could be at hundred and sixty. Uh, if we uh, had gotten maximum points.